This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, good morning everyone. Shem Aleichem, Bruchem Abom. We're continuing in Mishnah Bura Daf HaShavua. And we are up to Simen Chav Zayin, Sif Yod Aleph. The final Sif of Simen Chav Zayin. Tzorach Hashia HaShachar Shabbatzus Otsad Chatz V'lo Yishabchu Ben Shal Yad Ben Shal Rosh the black of the strap needs to be to the outer side. It should not turn the other way, whether it's the shalyad or the shoresh. Yishal shoretsu shiyotui in lefanov. You should hang down the straps that they should be suspended before you. V'yagiu aratabor. They should reach the navel. The navel. Oy lamalu imenamad. Or a little bit above. This is very important. Roi chav haretsu shalyad. The width of the strap of the hand, v'shal roish, ka'oyrech so'oyra lefachos, is at least, is at least the length of a barley corn. Now, the width of the ritzua of the yad and the roish should be at least the, the length of a barley corn. The impiches mishir oyrech ha ritzuais v'rachvan. If your ritzuais God became less than the sheer. If you can't find others, you should put them on as is. Until you find other ones. Okay, let's see the Mishnah Burah. If, let's say, you realize, you know, my, uh, the strap was inside out. It's considered saintly practice to fast. Or to redeem with charity. Now, there's a shaila. You might not have even been yoytze, the mitzvah, that we'll see later on in Simulam Gimel. The only thing you have to be really careful about is what encircles the head, ves and the bicep pamachas. So in other words, what we're talking about is what encircles the head and what encircles the first time. The additional seven wrappings, as we've said many times, is not ma'akev. You don't even really have to do them. What you wrap after, or what's hanging down, you don't even have to be ma'akev at all that it doesn't turn around. It's not ma'akev at mitzvah. It's not ma'akev at mitzvah. Now, again, um, we said earlier in Simon Chafes of Katan Lamed Ches, the Dershu quotes El Charchila, they're a mitzvah, and that Rizal was not to be Korach them before the Tvon Shel Roish, but you don't have to be Makvid that it doesn't turn around. Out of beauty for the mitzvah, it is correct to be Mahapech that the black side is to the outside, even in the rest. Now what about people who have black on black? So maybe that for them, it's not even noy mitzvah. The Kavah Chaim says it's still noy mitzvah. Because it's more shiny. Okay. Bein shal yad, bein shal roish. Hinei b'shal yad, shu royak, shu meniach, yochel lor, shal yisabach, lo yakesh, v'lo yaretzua. The shal yad that you see when you're putting it on, you could see that it doesn't turn around, not the nod and not the strap. V'shal roish, you don't see when you're putting it around your head. You should feel very well from the place of the bias, meaning run your hands through, make sure it's put on properly. Uh, so how long should the straps go in the front? Up to the navel. If you want to add, less lunba. Not a problem. And the Malbim, the Maski, the Shal Yemin, Ara Tabor, the right side should be at least until the navel, the Shal Small, Ara Chaza, and the left side at least till the chest. And if you're a lefty, it doesn't matter. It's right, left. It, it, it doesn't make enough Afkamina whether you're righty or a lefty. The Torah says further, some say the Shal Yemin, Ara Milo, the right side, uh, up to the meal of shell small al hatabur, and I think that's what most people do. Ka'irach sa'ara, the length of a barley corn, and that is Hainu Baklipasa with its shell. Chazoinish says 10.7 millimeters. The 
Chazon Ish says it's not possible to metzam same, therefore you should do at least 11 millimeters. According to Reb Chaim, not 10 millimeters. Now, Abu Baloi Ha'iket Shala, the Mishnah Bro says, it's with its shell, but not with its thorn, not with its bottom. Because the thorn on the bottom could be very long. Some say it's enough, the width, the width of the thorn, it's enough to have the length of wheat, not barley, and it's less than barley. Ah, here's the point. It's not such an issue that the Ritsua will shrivel up and become smaller than the size of a barley corn. But where you're tightening it on the arm, where you're constantly exerting pressure, very often, the Ritsua gets diminished there. Or it gets a little cut, that you're no longer left with the shear. Rav Chaim Knievsky says, when we say there's an issue if it gets shriveled up, it means the mamish gets shriveled up and, you, and if you sort of flatten it out, it won't revert back. But if if it just gets a little shriveled, but when you make it straight, it will be kashir, that's okay. Now, here's the question. Everybody wants to know. Okay, let's just do a few more. Um, now, if you don't find others, you put them out. Why? Some say they're still kashir. Put it on. But of course, you don't make a bracha. Now, the Chazoinir says that why is the Shulchan Arach so lenient? That if this is what you have, it's okay because these shiurim are not Medina de Gemara. But to do less than a shir that's Medina de Gemara, let's say the shir of Edzbat Sereda for the length of the Ritsua, then you can't even put it on. Unless you mamish can't get others. Kamoy Shehain. Now let's see this Mishnah Bura. Kamoy Shehain. V'ha'achroinim maske. The Machroinim conclude as follows. Zim piches m'shir oirach b'shal yad. Ha'nizgar l'abasev ches. Yoniach b'li bracha. If it's less than the shir of the length of the shal yad that we mentioned earlier in Sif Ches, namely, the oirach of the Ritzua Shalyad is to encircle the arm and tie a kesher and stretch out to the middle finger and wrap three around it. Then you have to put it on without a bracha. If you could reach the middle finger, the minimum length of the tzur shall roish. The arzas achaim says the davke miyesh chutz mimashem akif haroish al kapanim kishir shnei tefachim. The minimum shear is besides what encircles the head. You have a minimum of two tefach, two tefachim. Halav hachi nichem b'lay bracha. Otherwise, you put on without a bracha. Ulin in roish of tzur shall yad v'shall roish hechmer gamkin. Regarding the bedieved shear of the width of the tzur, the the malbim in the arzas achaim is machmir. If it's not the width of a chita, you put on with that. Can you fix the ritzua? Can you Can you fix the ritzua? Can you Can you fix the ritzua? Can you fix the ritzua? Can you fix the ritzua? Can you fix the black? Can you fix the ritzua? Can you black on black? Or the way people put on the for a few hundred years? So I say like this, very pashat. Usually we say, when it comes to doing a mitzvah, do it the way everybody did it. Do it the way they did it for hundreds of years. However, there's a chashash over here. The chashash is that very often the, the pain peels. And if the pain peeled, and because of that you don't have the width of a barley corn, or at least a wheat corn, you can't make a bracha and fill in our puzzle. So when it's just a matter of, is it better A or is it better B? Do it the way they always did it. But here, halachically, you're going to be in much better shape if you have black on black. Because if any pain peels, you don't have an issue because it's all black and you never have a situation where your tzuis are less than the shear. 
So whatever tefillin you have now, they're great. If you're buying tefillin, I say black on black. You, you have much, you have, it minimizes any halachic questions that could come up. Anyway, that's just my two cents. Okay, the Mechaber continues. Tefillin shel roish. The head tefillin. Toiv liyosam gluya manirim. They should be revealed and uncovered. But a student before his Rebbe should not reveal its phone shall rush. Says the Mishabura Tavli Yosam. Sivkata Memhe. The Khsiv Viro Kalame Aretz. It says all the nations of the world should see. So everyone should see. The Minug of the Ariza brought in the Mishabura earlier in Siv Simon Ches Sivkat and Dalid was to cover the head tefillin. But it should not be completely covered. The Mahsa Shekel says you should cover it like a roof. So that at least from in front you could see it. The toiv shigam kesher yeh megula. It's good that the knot in the back should be revealed. The einoy again, aval einoy again, and that's not the minog. Over the yevet afim hoyu mechusim legamri yata. But the yevet, if the tefillin shalroish were completely covered, your yoytze. But the fact that it needs to say that the yevet of the tefillin shalroish are completely covered, your yoytze means they need to be seen. Don't wear your don't uh, cover your head like you'd be a ghost. You know people wrap their head. No, the tefillin shalroish needs to be seen. Ain lahakbid. Um, okay, the Rama continues. Shal yad ain lahakbid amheim gluim ay mechusim. The tefillin shal yad were not makbid if they're gluim or mechusin. However, we said many times there's they they're better to be covered, like it says vahayu. It's better to cover them. Now, are you allowed to have this little box on the shalyad so that the corners stay sharp? Not pasha that it's mutter. According to many poiskim, it is prohibited. You hear this? The Levushe Mordechai, the Pischei Tshuva says you should not do it. The Archa Shulchan says it's not nice to have a box on the Tzvon Shalyad. However, Zichor and Yehuda brings to the Maram Shik that it's Mutter. The Chazoinish did it. He would take it off before he put on the Tzvon. He would put it on after he tied it. And the Shevet Alevi says, L'charchilo, you should take it off before you put on the tefillin and put it on after. But the Yevet, if you put it on before the Shel Roish, it's okay. It's not a hefsek. I have to say, I didn't know this. Okay, so I have to remember tomorrow. I usually leave my box on because this way the, the corners stay sharp. But it seems like it's better for it not to be on um, at the very least, at the time of the bracha. In other words, the Maram Shik and the, the Chazoynish had it on. However, they would all take it off for the bracha, including for the Shalraish. So in other words, um, it sounds like you're allowed to keep it on, but should not be on at the time of the bracha. That's a Chiddush, no? Mustama, you knew that, but I didn't know this. Okay. The Rama said, the nearly the Akshav Shein Manichin Al Bazman Krishma Tvila nowadays that we only wear Tfilin for Krishma. Tfila Afilu Talmud Lufne Rabbi, Yachala Galois Afishal Roish. Nowadays, even a student before his Rebbe, he could reveal the Shalroish Khina Minog Shal Lazar. The Minog is not to be careful. That a Talmud could wear the Shal Roish. Says the Mishnabura Mem Chesamim Guyam Parish im Nikru U Bigadav Leslanba. This is going on the Ramah said the Shalyad were not Makbid if they're Galoy or Mechusa. Perosh that if the garment is torn, there's no issue. But you're now to put it on the garment. Lamaisa, we saw earlier that it's better that the Shalyad be covered because uh, the Shalyad is for you as an ois and not for others. The Shalroish is Varo Kalame Ha'aretz. Okay, Rabbi Isai, have a great day. Brachavatzacha, Kaltov. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.